So guys, I uh, just wanted to show you a standard aphid infestation on uh, one of my African violets. Um, as you can see, it's uh, still looking healthy. The infestation was still quite manageable and I'm doing the best I can to remedy the problem. But uh, for those of you who haven't seen them uh, before or are wondering what's going on now if you see those white shells I'm not sure if you can you can see them but they're basically white shells and they look like bugs and small bugs but they're not moving they are they are dead uh, that's basically the the remnants of uh, of young aphids who have hatched, who have grown, they don't hatch, they actually clone themselves once they, once the mother gets onto a certain plant and she begins cloning herself, producing those babies, but as they grow, they leave the scales behind, they shed. And so, everything kind of gets covered in, in those white white remnants of shells as you can see the plants kind of get this sticky s on the surface of the leaves you can see the like a dots appearing and they're sticky that's a definitely a sign of uh, aphids infestation so um, my infest aphids tend to go under the leaves or under the young leaves like this in the middle here. I already checked that plant and I killed everything off what I could see. And uh, now I have another plant here that I'm gonna show. That's my other African violet. It's actually quite big. Uh, but this one looked exactly like this one in um, considering blooming. So it had many blooms, it was full of blooms and I had to cut them off control the infestation because the aphids actually would now I have some spent blooms here but for example the aphids would collect here around the blooms and the new blooms so what I actually did is uh, take a, a hole the branch itself and I cut cut the whole branch off because that's where the most like here under the flowers around the petals that's where most of the aphids were. And um, this one still is not infected and I moved it into another room. But this one, as you can see, is, has had some, some infestation. It's not huge, but as you can see, if you see those, then you're dealing with aphids. Definitely there somewhere. Look around the plant under the leaves. You know, and because African violets, they don't tolerate, to tolerate uh, getting water on their leaves. Uh, it's hard to actually get rid of them. You might try with neem oil and soap water, but I actually never try that. Um, and yeah, trying to manage this manually. This is an, it's not a big violet. It's quite small so it should be manageable basically kill the remnants I cut everything off because they were major mainly around the petals and killed everything under the leaves there weren't that many under the leaves they love the petals and the young leaves in the middle so I'm gonna keep looking at this and controlling it in the next few days and hopefully they will be gone and as you can see the other one is is it, they were sitting next to each other on, uh, on my window but this one is at least as what I could see it's definitely not infected yet so well that was it I just want to show uh, I wanted to show you guys some yeah how an infestation looks like with aphids on your on your African violet thank you for watching